In this video, we were talking all about SWOT analysis, what it is used for, the various elements and considerations of building a SWOT diagram, how to get started doing it. SWOT analysis is key part of any business and strategic plan. SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths and weaknesses are internal factors, and opportunities and threats are external factors. A SWOT diagram analyzes project or business venture by focusing on each of these factors. It typically consists of four boxes, one for each area, but the exact shape may vary depending on the design. SWOT diagrams can be especially useful when trying to decide whether or not to embark on a certain venture or strategy by visualizing the pros and cons, uh, by clearly outlining all positives and negatives of a project. SWOT analysis makes it easier to decide how to move forward. Uh, first is you want to figure out on saon pag build on the strengths of your organization. Ang SWOT analysis will help you identify the parts of your business that are doing well. Mao ni ang imong critical success factors aspects sa imong business that are strong and give you a competitive advantage. Recognizing these assets, makatabang ni mo para makakontinue ka on at a high level and manginahanglan put ka to find ways to leverage and build upon sa kaninga strengths para mo grow ang imong business. Next, you will want to identify ways to improve on your weaknesses. Weaknesses mao ni siya ang factors that put you at a disadvantage to your competitors. Figuring out what these weaknesses are and taking actions to listen them before they hurt your business is essential. Kaninga stage requires a detailed and candid analysis of what is going wrong within sa imong organization. Now, you will try to identify the opportunities available for your business. Try to pinpoint openings in the marketplace na makatake ni mo advantage to help your business grow. Kaning opportunities are caused by external factors such as market fluctuations and trends. Always a consider among strengths and weaknesses when assessing these opportunities. Delita ng opportunity is right for your company at the moment but it may be not too far down the line. And now, we will try to figure out how to respond to threats to your business, market fluctuations, government regulation, or public perception are all external factors that may affect your business in a negative way. By identifying any threats and finding ways na malisten or eliminate them, you are clearing the way for smoother sailing as with opportunities you need to consider your strengths and weaknesses when assessing threats. Importante man good to note that a strength for one part of your organization might be a weakness sa uban. For instance, ang old-fashioned nga brand image and 100-year-old history of a company may benefit the farm equipment division, but it may not be such a boom for the new tech division. Sa kaninga reason, you may want to perform a different suit analysis for each part of your business rather than for the business as a whole. Also, you will very likely to have the same factors listed in more than one of these categories. You can see how a company's weakness, for example its lack of presence in a marketplace, could also be a major opportunity going forward. Here are some things to keep in mind while doing a SWOT analysis. Try to keep your SWOT diagram brief into the point. Include the most pertinent details but don't bag it down with too much explanation within sa diagram. You can go into greater detail during meetings or in reports. Be sure to utilize employees from various areas of your company when getting input during your analysis. Consider feedback from your partners and customers as well. 
a variety of perspectives will result in a more thorough analysis. Keep the core objectives of the company's business plan in mind while performing your SWOT analysis. Makatabang ni Nimo na mag ka through seemingly unrelated internal and external factors. Arrange the results of your analysis in order of the most important factors to the least. This will help you uh, prioritize action points going forward. With all that in mind, let's look at how you build a SWOT diagram. First, determine nimo ang objective. Decide on a key project or strategy to analyze and isuwat na nimo sa top of the page. Next, create a grid, draw a large uh, square, and then divide it into four smaller nga squares. Kung gagamit ka og diagramming nga program, the templates already do this for you. Ang imo na lang buhaton is mag-type na lang ka sa spaces. The boxes, of course, should be labeled. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. These are titles so they should be distinguished from the rest of the text using either color or font size. Add the factors that affect the project to the applicable boxes. Factors are typically listed in bullet form. Continue adding, removing, or editing the factors as you go through your process. That's all there is to it. Now, draw your conclusion by analyzing the finished shoot diagram. Be sure na imo in note if the positive outcomes outweigh the negative. If they do, it may be a good decision to carry out the objective. If they do not, Adjustment may need to be made or certain objectives may need to be abandoned. Be sure to keep your SWOT analysis in an easy to access place for future reference and discussion. Some managers may want to keep an ongoing SWOT analysis, updating the diagram on a regular basis. Others may prefer to revise the analysis quarterly or yearly. Either way, it should not be left stagnant for long. I hope kamong tanan enjoyed learning about sa kaniyako presentation niya SWOT analysis.